Okay guys, I'm gonna show you step two, which is going to be to actually carve out your print. So the first thing you're gonna need is a bench hook. What you're gonna do is just link it onto the table like this. This is going to allow you to hold your print in place. So I'm gonna slide it up to here. And what this is gonna do is you don't wanna hold it with your hand because the tools we're gonna to be using, which are the printmaking gouges, they're very, very sharp. So if you're holding it with your hand and you're carving and you go ahead and slip, you're gonna get hurt. So you wanna make sure that you're using the bench hook. And I know it's gonna be really tempting to try to hold it with your hand, but try to keep whatever hand you're not carving with below here so that you don't slip um, and mess up. What we're gonna do is we wanna go in and we wanna carve out everything that's the lighter color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start going around my hairline. And you don't have to carve deep. We're just kind of grazing the surface. And what I like to do is go in first and just start to outline things. That way I could then go in and do a larger part later on. So I'm just outlining my hair over there. And you can kind of flip it as you go if you need to get it from another angle so that you're not holding it in place with your hand. So I'm gonna to start to carve out along there. And everything that's raised is going to be what is going to print. So if you're carving it out, it's gonna be white or actually the light color, whatever color paper you choose. And everything that's raised and left behind is going to be what prints. So if you have any little skinny lines in like that, you wanna carve around them. So anything that's pen, you want to be left in because that you want to print because those are all your details. So once you go in and outline everything, you'll have a better idea of the areas that you could carve out around. So I'm just going through and I'm getting all my details out first. Um, once you get that done, you could go and actually carve out the bigger sections. So if I have some areas that are kind of gray toned, what you guys can do is you can use the techniques that we learned with pen and ink, the hatching and the cross hatching and the stippling, and you could actually carve in those different textures with your carving tool. So you guys want to take your time on this, really try to be precise with what you're carving because the nicer job you do carving, the nicer the print that you're going to create. All right, um, see how I left this in here? I'm gonna fill that area in with some hatch marks. So I'm just gonna go up through here and I'm gonna start going in one direction first. And you wanna try to keep them neat. And I'm just gonna go up. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go the opposite way. And that's gonna make that part of my face look more gray toned because you won't have anything else there. So I wanna to continue to go in. It'll probably take you guys about a day or two to finish carving these. And once you have a section where everything's outlined, like my eyebrow and my hair here, you could just go in and carve the rest of the white space out. And remember, you don't want to carve too deep. You're just kind of grazing the surface off. And as long as it's lower than everything else, it's not going to print. But try to do it in some kind of uniform way so that you know what parts you've carved and what parts you haven't. Uh, also something to keep in mind is the background. Uh, a lot of people, like to leave kind of like a pattern or something in the background. So if you want to do that, you could go ahead and draw it in first. Remember, it's going to be backwards, so you want to make it backwards on here so it's right side when you print it. But what I do recommend if you're not going to do a pattern is to leave some kind of space between the lines where you're carving out in the background. 
What that's gonna do is it's going to leave something called chatter. And if you guys look at some of the samples I have on the board, you'll see that there's some lines behind it. Um, that in printmaking is called chatter. And sometimes you wanna leave that in because it gives it a more textural approach. And it looks a lot nicer in prints than just having the whole background carved out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of leaving some little spaces in between these lines I'm carving out just to add some texture to it. So just a refresher, you guys are carving out everything that's light and you wanna leave in all of the dark parts and go around any of the details in here. Okay, thank you.